Sure they are not here by accident, amen? Amen. Uh, we thank God for this opportunity he has given us, and uh, if you have your outline of reading, I want us to open your Bible in the book of 2 Samuel, chapter number 6. 2 Samuel, chapter number 6. Uh, as you open the Bible, I want us to just remind ourselves about the theme of this man. The theme of this man is to what? Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Uh, you know, I remember the sermon of Brother Ronald. His first point was uh, praise the God because of the person of him. The nature of God. Amen. Let me say this. God deserves our praises. Amen. God truly deserves what? Our praises. Now, our praises to the Lord must be personal. Must be what? Personal. Yes, we praise Him together, but our praise to God must be personal, must be real, must be alive, instantaneous from our innermost being. It must be sacrificial. Everyone, everyone needs to know it. So speak, sing, shout it out to the Lord. Amen? Our God deserves our praises. Let us stand up as we read our text today. <coughs> we are going to read from verse 1 to 7. From verse 1 to 7. And uh, we are going to read all together. Let's go one to one. Saturday, this coming Sunday. Uh, I learned from 
but the truth is not that you never say no. You never say no. Why? Because it's not you. All you need to do is pray. And I didn't know what to come and share. I didn't plan anything. But uh, I kept on praying, praying, praying. And God invited me to this account here in this passage. Amen? Hey. Now, what we are reading today, we find it also in, uh, in the book of 1 Chronicles, chapter number 13, going all the way to chapter number 15. It's when the David decided to bring the Ark of Covenant back to Jerusalem. Amen? The Ark of Covenant was taken uh, by Christian in the time of war. And now uh, David had conquered, and now David wanted to bring it back. But when he was bringing it back, they enjoyed, they praised God. But something happened. Uzziah died. And when he died, when he died, uh, the journey was cut short. The journey was cut short that the Ark of Covenant did not go to Jerusalem. In fact, they put it in the house of Obed or Obed. 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 That name. Now, God deserves our praises. To him alone all glory belongs. We worship and praise God because of what he has done. Amen? We praise God for what he has done and what he will do. But above all, we worship and praise him because of who he is. Amen? We worship and praise him because of who he is. Amen? Now, apart from that, in our text here we see what happened. They have praised God. You see, they sing, they, they use all the instruments, they sang victoriously. But the anger of God was killed and they disposed her. What happened? Now from here, we read in the book of Isaiah chapter number 29, verse number 13. Also, you can understand. Isaiah, can you flash for me by the point? The book of Isaiah, chapter number 29, verse number 13. The Bible says, Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as these people draw near me, draw near me with their mouth, and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the first precept of men. Amen. Not all praises pleases God. In fact, some praises displeases him. It's like provoking God. Why? Now we are going to learn. In our text today, we see that not all praises pleases God, and here are the reasons why. Number one, praising God according to our own ways. Praising God according to our own ways. Why am I saying that? Now, David and his captains carried the ark of God on oxen cart. On oxen cart. Now, if you look the book, if you read the book, if you read the book of Acts Chronicles, chapter number 15, uh, you understand David understood something after this. In chapter 15, David said, and then David said, None ought to carry the ark of God but the Levites. For them have the Lord chosen to carry the ark of God and to minister unto him forever. Amen? Amen. See, from the beginning, when they are bringing the ark from the house of Abinadab, there was an error. The way they were bringing it, it was, an error. it was an error. The Ark of Covenant is not supposed to be put in the Ark. It was supposed to be carried by who? The priest, the Levites. Amen? Amen. And also, if you study also, you hear us that Levites are not supposed to touch the Ark of Covenant. They are not supposed to touch it at all. That's why Hosea was struck by God. Because he touched, you know, the Ark was falling, so he, he, put, he, 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 want, he want to hold the Ark. You know? When I study more about how Uzza died, actually I realized he said, God, you know, he, 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 he exploded. The anger was God was killed against them. But why? These people are praising God. Because the way they did it was wrong. Amen? The way they did it was wrong. Now, many Christians today, they are praising some God the way they want. Amen? You know, nowadays we are serving God, we are praising God the way we want, the way it is suiting us. Now, remember Cain. Remember Cain in the book of Genesis, chapter number 4, verse number 3. And in process of time came to pass, the king brought up the fruits of the ground, offering unto them. No. See, God required what? A? A bride. 
But came with what? From what? The fruit, he called vegetables. You know, that's what most of us we do. We praise God by our own way. Now, praising God on our own standard angers God and grieves the Holy Spirit. Amen? It grieves the Holy Spirit. It angers God. It angers God. Now, how? Giving Bible and praying when we feel like. Amen? How is our devotion? You know, sometimes, it, you know, this someone is not just for me, because, and you. And when I was preparing this, I was like, God, I want you to speak to me. This person is not just for you, it is even for me. Amen? Why? Because we are reading the Bible, we are praying when we feel like. When we want, we are not consistent. Amen? We are doing it, you know, when we feel it's like when we want. But you see, the Bible says very clearly in the book of Joshua, chapter number one, verse eight, this book of the Lord shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate there in day and night, that thou mayest of thou to do according to all that is written therein, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good word, success. But thou shalt meditate there in what? Day and night. Amen. God wants to hear from us daily. Amen? God wants to hear from us daily. And also, we ought to hear from God daily. Amen? Not, 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 not today, then, after one week, you know. The way we read our Bibles, the way we pray sometimes is according to our own way. And it, it, it does not please God. It does not please God. Not only that, uh, going to church when it's convenient. Amen? Going to church when it's convenient. Now, in Hebrews 10, 25, we know this verse very well, not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together, as manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much more as he see the day what? Approaching. It is very clear. We should not forsake the gathering of what? Brethren. Amen? But what happens? Look at us today. Why on Friday we are so many? Why here we are just preaching? Amen? Because, you know, uh, some, some are serving God, you know, going to church, you know, it's like it is in your schedule. It, 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 it is not supposed to be like that. Amen? When we have the opportunity, we should be there. Amen? Amen. I understand we have what? I understand here we are working. Amen? But as long as there is opportunity, we should be in church when church is, uh, when church is open. Amen? Amen. We, should not, we, should not, you know, we should not be going to church on our convenience. Not only that, in our church we have problems. What is the problem? We have what? By the school, we have main service, we have doctrine class, and also we have other fellowship later. See, for, uh, for some of us, we, 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 we program it. Uh, you know, I'll just go this one, and then this one, and then the other one, and that's not for me. <laughs> some, the way, the way we praise God sometimes, it, 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 does, it does not please him at all. Because we are doing it on our own, you know, on our own way. Amen. God require our community. Each and everyone, when there is opportunity to come for the Friday school, be there. Amen. Main service, be there. Doctor class, be there. Why? Because it is what? The gathering of who? Brethren. We should not forsake as some are doing. Amen. The question is, are we a part of those some? Amen. God requires to be there. God requires to be there. That's how God wants to be worshipped, to be, to be praised. And also, Tithing when we want. Malachi is very clear. Bring me what? All. Bring me all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in my house and prove me now. There we say the Lord of all, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive. Amen. It is very clear. We should give our tithes. We pay all. All. It's, it's very clear. What does it say? Bring me all. 
you know, sampling only basic. Sampling only basic. But the Bible is telling me that God is where what? All. All. Amen. Not according to the way we want. It's according to the how what? How he wants. You know. And when we do these things, when we when we praise God on our own way, I'm telling you, we are displeasing. We are not praising God. We are we are, are displeasing. We are not pleasing Him at all. Uh, can you watch for me in the book of uh, uh, Jeremiah, chapter number twenty-five, verse six? Jeremiah, chapter number twenty-five, verse six. Jeremiah, but I, 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 do not, I do not go after the gods to serve them and to worship them. And what? Provoke me not to anger. God says, and what? Provoke me not to anger with the works of your hands. And I will do you no hurt. Amen? You know, sometimes we are provoking God with anger. Why? Because we are praising Him the way we want. Amen? See, God is the one who is ruling. Amen? Amen? God is the boss. So we should follow his God. He's the standard. Amen? You know, it took, it took David three months to figure out what happened. And when you read in the book of 1 Chronicles chapter number 15, now you understand David set things in order. And now you see the Ark of Covenant was taken and it was brought back to what? But how? God's way. Amen? God's way. The priest came and covered it and they knew and there was no David. He was very happy. Everyone rejoiced. Amen? Why? Because the Ark of Covenant was back there. But how? God's way. Amen? Amen? So, our challenge for us today is how are we praising God? Are we praising God according to our way or His way? Amen? Let us not do what? Provoke Him. Let us not provoke him. Number two, number two, praising God with our lips only. Amen? Sometimes we do that. Praising God with, praising God with our lips only. Now, you see very clearly in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 29, verse number 13. Can you brush it again? God rejects praises coming only from the lips. Amen? God rejects that. Same Isaiah, Isaiah chapter number 29, verse number 13. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as these people draw near me with their mouth, and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear to what me is taught by the precept of men. Amen? Why? People are just what? Practicing what? Religion. People are just following what? Routine. Amen? Amen. God doesn't. God does not, he does not want our lips and praises only. It's very clear we pray in our mouth. Amen? But it should not be just here. It should come from here. Amen? It should be coming from here. Now, not only that, you see, you see, Jesus called lips praises what? Hypocrisy. Amen? That's what Jesus said. If you read in Matthew chapter number 15, 7 to 9, the Bible says, Ye hypocrites, where did Isaiah prophesy you saying, This people draw up near unto me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do what should be teaching for the doctrine commandment, for the doctrine the commandments. Amen. Amen. Even Jesus said, no, he lips praises on me. Now, many Christians are practicing hypocrisy. Directly or indirect. We find that many, many Christians. How? How? Now, when we are what? When we are sinning. When we are singing, you know, when we are singing, I want you to see uh, what David said in Fox Chronicles chapter 29, verse 20, 13. 
how David worshiped God, how David praised God. See, well, for David blessed the Lord before the congregation, and David said, Blessed be thou, Lord God of Israel, our Father, forever and ever. Thy O Lord is the greatest, and the power, and the glory, and the victory, and the majesty. For all that is in heaven and in the earth is thine, thine is the kingdom. O Lord, and thou art exalted as, as head above all, both riches and honor come of thee, and thou reignest over all, and in thy hand is power and mighty, and in thy hand is, is it to make great, and to give strength unto all. Now therefore our God, we thank thee, and praise thy glorious name. Amen. Amen. Give a praise God. God said, this man is after my honor. Why? Because David did not, did not offer lip service only. You know, when we are singing, sometimes when we are singing, you know, for those uh, who read song here, sometimes you are reading the song and you see some people, you are like, some are just talking, some are they are mobile, they are singing. Don't go for God. Amen? Amen. Don't go for God. Don't talk about God. You know, in this song we sing normally, I surrender all. I surrender all. That song, many people sing, but it is hypocrisy. It is hypocrisy because many people have not surrendered at all. They are still holding back. The song we sing here, Oh, I love you with the love of the Lord. Do we really mean it? Do we really have that? Love we sing about. Amen. See, God hates lips, praises. Amen. And one of the ways we do this is when we are singing. So it is a challenge for each and every one of us that when we are singing, we should focus. Amen. We should focus. Know who you are who, who you are singing to. Amen. Know who you are singing to. That does not provoke God to anger. See, I'm telling you, what we do here is, is it cannot be compared with how David, they, they sang, how they sang in, 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 in the book of 2 Samuel chapter number 6. They prayed, they, they, they used all kinds of instruments, you know, they used all, they, they sang, you know, according to our own eyes, it was wow, but what, it did not please God, amen, you know, Thank God that we have uh, the, the, the music uh, orchestra. Okay. Okay. We have it now. You know, we are having we have we have new machine there. We have you know we have all the speakers here. You know, we have we have we have collected our church. We have, we have done all these things. But the question is, how is our heart? Amen. When we sing, do we sing at the instrument singing or we are singing from the heart? Amen? It's a challenge for me, it's a challenge for you, that when we sing, we should not be forgotten. Amen? We should sing, focus to who you are singing to. Amen? Be focus to God. And not only that, when we are praying, amen? When we are what? Praying. When we are praying, now, I want you to just fathom the prayer of Hannah. Fathom the prayer of Hannah, First Samuel 1, 9 to 13. The Bible says, So Hannah rose up after they had eaten in Shiloh, and after they had drunk. Now every the priest sat upon the seat and upon, by the post of the temple of the Lord, and she was in bitterness of soul, and prayed unto the Lord, and wept so. And she bowed about and said, O Lord, O Most, if thou wilt indeed do for the affliction of thy handmaid, and remember me, and not forget thy handmaid, but will give unto thy handmaid at the man child, then I will give him unto, unto the Lord all the days of, the, of, of, of his life. And there shall be none that come upon his head. And it came to pass, now get this, and it came to pass, as she continued what? Praying before the Lord that every marked her mouth. Why? Now Hannah, she spat in her what? Hannah, she spat in her heart. Only her lips what? Moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore, every thought she had been what? 
much money. But you, you see, see that kind of prayer, amen? Jesus is another example in Calvary. When he cried, I mean, he prayed until the form of what? Blood coming out of his sweat. Why? Because their prayer is coming from the heart. Amen? Amen. Hannah's mouth was just moving, but she was praying inside. You know, we, were, we, just, we just finished our prayer meeting today. We just did our prayer meeting. Do you know, we pray only today and then we meet next week and then, brother, hey boy, flash it back. Then, ah, see there. Do we, are, are we really praying? Amen? Are we <coughs> praying from the heart? Do we have the passion in prayer? Amen? We have passion in prayer, or we are doing it as a routine, you know. Yeah, on Sunday night, there is a 15 minute prayer. In fact, uh, if I can just go by, by, by 8.30, they will have finished the prayer meeting. I just joined the service. No. Amen? No. We should, we should, we should pray and pray from our heart. Amen? We should pray from our heart. Prayer is very, very important. Prayer is very, very important. You know, we, we normally support missionaries, amen? We support missionaries. BBC is known all over the world, why? Because we give finances. We support the missionaries, amen? We have big funds over in. How much? Oh, it's a lot of money. But the question is, if the amount is measured by how we are praying, which one is supposed to be high? Amen? Our prayer is supposed to be high. The question is, do we even remember to pray for our missionaries? Do we, you know, sometimes I'm like, why am I giving and I'm not praying? What is important? Amen? You know, sometimes we are caught up by just doing the routine thing and forgetting the, the nature, the main part. Amen? the main part. We should go back to our knees. Amen? Amen. And pray for them. Pray for the missionaries. Pray for these concerns. Amen? Pray for this concern. Brother Ian, he's not here. Why? Because he injured his leg. How many of us are praying for him? Amen? How many people here, you know, <coughs> their hearts are hurting? Are you really praying? Amen? Are you really praying? So we should examine ourselves. We should check. Is our prayer, is our prayer life, praise is God, or it does not? Amen? Let us examine that. Not only that, when we are commending what? Others. When we are commending others. Romans chapter number 12, verse number 9, the Bible says, let love be without what? Dissimulation. What does it mean by this innovation? It's simple. Amen? Mean it. Amen? Mean it. When you are commanding someone, do you mean it? Do you mean it? Amen? See, our church we are blessed. We have different nationalities. I understand we have different of culture. I'm from Africa. Most of you are from Philippines. Amen. But are we together? Amen. Amen. Are we together? Are we together? Is is your love for African person the same love for a Filipino person? Amen. Amen. We should we should you know we should we should believe. Remember the acronym of praise. A, a line. A means what? Be real. Amen. Let us be real. Let us be real. When, when you say, I love you, brother, leave it to love the brother. What is the reason of hating each other? Is there any reason? No. Amen. Now, apart from that, number three, number three, We, 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 uh, we see that uh, the displeases God, number one is when we do it on our own way. 
Number two is when we do it on our business. And number three, praising God without what? Understanding. Without understanding? No. The Bible says in the book of Hosea 4 6, my people, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Amen. You know, it's good to do things with understanding. Amen. Praise God with understanding. Who's a guy because they carry the ark of covenant on an oxen? They did it. I don't know if really do that. Uh, if they understand what they were doing. Do you remember Apostle Paul? Apostle Paul ordered the death of Stephen. Why did he do that? Why was Apostle Paul doing all this? Because Apostle, Apostle Paul, if you ask him, he was serving God. Amen? Apostle, Apostle Paul, when he did that, when he was a persecuting Christian, he was what? He was serving God according to his own way. He was serving God, but he was serving God without what? Understanding. He didn't know what he was doing. Amen? Now, zeal for God without understanding is very, very, very dangerous. Very dangerous. Zeal for God without what? Understanding is very dangerous. That's why you see we have religions. That's why you see this uh, terrorism. Why? Because these people are they say they are serving God, they are pleasing their God. Now, when you serve God or when you praise God without understanding, this will lead to wrong doctrines. Amen? This will go directly to wrong doctrines. Wrong decisions. Amen? You know, if you read uh, Proverbs chapter number 14, please, and this verse for me, Proverbs 14. Proverbs chapter number 14. Which one? 15. The simple believe that what? Everyone. The simple believe that what? Everyone. But the prudent man look at where he is going. The simple believe that what? Everyone. You know, that's why the, the prayer of Paul, the prayer of Peter is that people will grow in their Christian life. Amen? Why? Because when you grow, you become a mature Christian. You are, you are in a position to understand the wrong doctrine. You are in a position to make the right decision. Amen? You know, where is all this in Christianity? Where is all these denominations? Because people are refusing to grow. And people are caught up in this wrong doctrine. And they believe. And they are there serving God. I tell you, the, the, the priest where I came before, I know that pastor very well. I'm telling you. That person, he loved God. He loved God. That one, I, I know he loved God. But see, his love is without understanding. He's doing what he's doing. Why? Because he loved God. But he has not, he don't understand the doctrine. He don't understand what to do. So that's why we should what? Grow as a Christian. So that we may praise God with understanding. Amen? See, it will lead to it will lead to wrong decision. It will lead to wrong decision. That's why you find in the church people are, you know, simply just offended because of simple things. Amen. People just offended because of simple things. They just pull out of the church. People will make this decision. People will make this decision. Wrong decision. Why? Because of raising God or serving God without understanding. So my challenge for us is to what? To grow. Amen. To grow so that we can praise God what? With understanding. See, this will go to divisions in the body of Christ. This will lead to divisions in the body of Christ. See, where all Christians in the church are simple, where all Christians in the church are not growing, there's a problem. Yeah, there's a problem. Amen. Uh, I remember I think Pastor John said that. His commitment for God is way, way, way up there. His emotions are where? 
down here. But see, the more you grow, the more committed. If you're not growing, you keep on being sucked of emotions. Amen? When you're offended, when you're, you cannot, things cannot be sorted. Why? Because we are, we are, we are, we, someone is not uh, grown up as a Christian. So my challenge for us today is we serve God. We praise God. We understand. Amen? Yes, we need to praise God. Yes, we need to honor God. But let us do it his own way. Amen? Amen? Yes, we have to sing. We need to do it, but let us suffer. Let us praise with our lips, but coming from our heart. And also, let us praise God with understanding. Now, John chapter 4, in my conclusion, John chapter 4, verse number 23 to 24, the Bible says, But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh, seeketh such to worship him. God is spirit, and they that worship him, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. Uh, may God bless the name of the Lord. Lord, let us pray. Lord, I come before you today. I humble myself before you. Lord, thank you for speaking to us. We are in the glory of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.